Hello everybody, this is part 3 of modeling a generic iron. Now what I'm going to do is to create the knob that will be on the main body. This can easily be done by using a revolve as can be seen. Okay, now what I'll do is to cover the bottom part and later do a join to make this knob feature into a, a solid object. Let's proceed to create the parting line for the knob. Let's give a tiny gap between the knob and the main body. Now I'm doing a union to join the knob onto the main body. Maybe I should do some blend edge to smoothen the, the connection. I think I'm quite okay with the blending. Okay, now let's uh, cut the knot into the top portion and the part connecting to the main body. Let's proceed to add some details on the knob. What I'm going to create is a small raised detail on the knob that will aid in the easy gripping of it. Okay, I'm going to project this detail onto the main surface. Next, what I'm going to do is to cut the projected curve on surface into two halves using a rectangular plane object. I do a split. Yep. So now I have two equal halves. Let's proceed to make the curve for the center portion of the detail. Give it a slightly raised dome shape. 
let's create the surface using a loft. And now what I'm going to do is to create uh, repeated instances of this detail around the knob, which can easily be done by using the polar array. Okay, it's done. Now we need to integrate styling details onto the main knob itself. To do that, I will first uh, do a split of the main body using the details. Which I'm doing now. Next, I will do a join to join the individual instances of the details oops, onto the body of the knob. Okay, let's hide this detail. And now these are the unwanted portion that we can delete now. Okay, I'm done with the knob creation. Okay, let's proceed to make the light indicator. I've done a projected curve on surface. Okay, this is the projector curve that I want to use to make the light indicator. Okay, I did a split to split the indicator detail from the main body. Let's scale it down. Let's raise it above the main body. Maybe I should create a guideline to aid in the transformation of that portion. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is to create um, guide rails on the side to aid in the creation of the surfaces by the side. I'm doing this using the adjustable curve blend. Okay, I'm setting the Point one H one to uh, curvature continuous and doing some fine adjustment to create the profile shape. I'm going to do the same for this region as well. Clicking the handle to shape the profile okay i think i can create the surface now which i will use sweep to rail to perform it ok 
Okay, A, I will set to tangent, and B, I will leave it as position. Let's mirror the other half. Okay, we are done with that light indicator detail. Let's join it onto the main body. Let's do an analysis check for solidity. Yep, that's the volume. So it's uh, fully solidified. Now I'm going to round off the back end of the main body. Looks okay. Okay, now I'm going to create a slight depression detail on this area. I'm going to create some uh, edge curve. Okay, an easier method to use is actually a uh, duplicate border. Now let's offset the edge inwards. Offset curve on surface. Hmm. Looks like there are some problematic area at the corner, which we can easily uh, resolve using trim. Maybe I should round the corner. Okay, I've done the split. I'm going to scale these uh, smaller pieces down and move it slightly backward. Okay, what I'm going to do next is to do a bit of adjustment and create the surfaces connecting these two pieces. For that, I'm using the loft command. Okay, let's join this. Okay, looks okay. Let's bring everything back join them into a solid object
Okay, we have created a solid. Let's do some surface analysis. As you can see, uh, the blends are curvature continuous or G2 on the main body. Okay, looks okay. Okay, I almost done with part three. Hope that has been useful. Okay, see you around. Bye.